for McLaren Senna body. Time is 8.2, 8.3 per second. This is the slowest body. It is 160 grams. And also not as consistent at the moment. Here we have the a new body, Tamiya NSX. It is around 105 grams. It's 8.0 seconds. So a little better than the heavy McLaren Senna body. But not our fastest body. Chassis is a... Uh, we're back to the TTO one. And now we're running our fastest body. It is also an NSX, but very old, kind of broken. <laughs> uh, but it's doing 7.9 seconds. So one tenth faster than the other NSX body. Uh, there are. The difference is how you cut the body, whether it's mounted forward, rearward. There's also different variations of the NSX. And this one, the front lip has been broken already, so it's a little on the understeer. And since our TT1 kind of has a stronger steering now, uh, the understeer body seems to fit the, the balance better. And just to note, the rear wing makes a big difference in terms of the angle, the type, the type of Tamiya wing. So if your car feels understeer, just try to change the rear wing. And you might see it already makes a big difference. If you feel the rear is a little too unstable, go with a, a more downforce Tamiya wing. Like that one, maybe we can still go with more downforce. But then your entry steering will be a little less. So it's always a compromise. Alright, so yeah, happy Sunday. We were here yesterday. No drifters. <laughs> they play on Saturday. Just a few on-roaders. <laughs> And well, yesterday we, we she tried the TA08, and now she's we're back to the TTO one. It's just a little better than the the TA08. It just has the difference is it has more corner flow. The TA08 seems to stop middle to exit. It loses momentum, whereas this can flow in and out of the corner better. Uh, the shaft drive also can put the power down uh, more responsibly. So actually we can wheel spin this car if we're too aggressive on the throttle. And yeah. Whereas the TO8 with the belt, the belt uh, helps absorb the, the shock. It's like a slipper. <laughs> All right. So we have some high-end kits. One is Automatics, the other is uh, also Graphite, I think Yapomo maybe. And then, yep, we're not on pace today. Today is a struggle day. 
We don't know. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> I have to fix that part where here. Uh, it's been a good Sunday as usual. We're just hanging around, talking up, talking about. Tamiya cup with the guys uh, I'm still trying to tune the TTO one but we started good this morning but you know I don't know maybe my tires have become unglued like my pre my previous video because suddenly yeah the rear is just giving up maybe I should remember my tip that, you know, maybe the tire glue has gone. Eight point zero. But, yeah, this is our last battery pack and we're going home. Eight point zero. Uh, our friend, Phil, running the TA-08, upgraded with the upper deck. He managed to get his... Uh, TA weight uh, to an 8.0. So, uh, TT1 is not slower. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll come back next week and I'll see if I have some new ideas. I tried the new traction compound mix. It had more grip, but the lap time was slower. So there comes a point where you have to balance the grip with a corner flow. More grip sometimes just slows down your car as well. Uh, I tried some different things. I'll talk about it next time, but yeah. Uh, this car probably an automatics. Look, looking at the speed, it's the my, our friend the uh, automatics. Looking fast, this car. Looking planted. Uh, we don't have grip at the moment, so I'll have to check the tires. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the, this video. We'll go faster next time. Right now, it seems traction is the main difference. Awesome Matrix is fast. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get there. All right. <laughs>